Hello everyone, uh, I'm Wookie and it's time for another good old story time. It's been a while since I've done one of these, just because I've been super busy, but I'm here with Zenra. Hello everybody. He's here. And it's a very good thing you're here, because I'm going to try and... This is the first time where it's just not going to be us talking about um, something that happened to me. I wanted to talk about specifically, especially as 2019's ending... One of the I, w I was realizing this while I was playing Super Mario Brothers 2, talking about the end of the year and all this crazy thing that happened, is that in the middle of the decade, that's actually when we first met, and then because of that, like you were the first person to ever tell me to be like, "Yo, you should get on Twitter," and eventually I said, "Yes, sure. I don't see why not. I don't see the issue with this." Um, and it's funny because you are the first person to ever. Um, because you're the first person I told about it, so you're you're the first person to ever follow me, and then the second person is Mayo. <laughs> quality, very quality, two quality follows right there. Um, so I wanted to talk about specifically how we ended up first meeting for the first time, because this is going back a long time. This is back when, um, so we met through the Dokkan Reddit just simply because we both played a whole bunch of Dokkan. <laughs> so. And yeah, like a lot of it, um, like a lot of enough of it for us to be into the Dokkan and for you to be made a mod there, and for me to be um, eventually made a mod there later. I think I was a later generation one. Um, I started. Do you remember how you got put into a mod? So I'm not 100 percent sure how the original mod teams were picked because I wasn't sure how mods were made um, back then. I don't remember if um, Pirate um, Fishman Pirate was doing the. Um, asking for mods or he was just looking for people who are like active and they're like you look like you could run a mod <laughs> you look like you could be one do you remember how you started i think he was like people were active and they were like contributing and then he would be like hey do you want to be a mod hmm. and be like yeah yeah it was simple okay. it was simple it was simpler back then because the 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 subreddit was much smaller back then uh, Dokkan wasn't as big as it is now, I guess. <laughs> now that you think about Dokkan, Dokkan's way bigger than it was when it started. Yeah, it's a totally different nowadays. Yeah, so I think when I joined up, I think you were already a mod there. I know I saw you, I remember you and I remember Violet. I can't, I also remember Aminal, and then who was the other guy that I can't remember right now? I mean, apologize, apologies for forgetting names, but he used to do, I think, CES before, um, uh, before he was ended up being replaced, I can't remember. No. Say it again. Dad before Conal. Yeah, before Conal. The guy, the the guy before Conal. Do you remember? He used. I think he used to run the Naruto uh, one. I don't. It's fine. Anyway, no, though, I, I don't off the top of my head. <laughs> that was the starting people I saw on the Reddit. Um, I think my favorite rememberings of everyone in the early times is that Violet was around a whole bunch. And that you were, I always saw you in the comments, I think, discussing um, uh, units. And the funny thing is, is that uh, knowing how you are now, but when you don't know how you act and you read the old messages, it just comes off as super aggressive <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was always in the back of my mind. I was like, oh, Zenrot. He's the, the serious one. He's the angry one. Even though there was nothing to base it off of you besides that the fact that you had a Super Saiyan Blue Goku avatar, that was about it. <laughs> uh, so that's what I do you as. And when I started helping around the subreddit in the questions thread, because I think um, at a certain point I stopped, I, I shied away from like the main, um, the main sub just because I was too uh, like, it's, it's a weird thing to think about, but I was not a super social person, so in a way that's like, I just want to like, I understand, like I read, I read everything what people were saying and understood the game, but I really just want to help people. Uh, so I went to the help uh, questions and I just started answering basically every single question in there and just hanging out there like, like no joke, I used to refresh the page, check for a new question and then immediately answer. That's how quick I used to be at answering questions for Dokkan. <laughs> um, that's why you were good at it. Exactly. If you ever wondered, like, wow, Wokey was always there right on time. The only times I wasn't active was when I was fucking asleep. <laughs> that was the only time I wasn't in the questions thread. Um, and, and then eventually Violet, uh, 
came up to me as like, ah, we've noticed that you've just kind of been hanging around here a whole bunch, and we want to give you a special title just to, you know, to say, have keep up the good work. And I want to say it was around the same time that Team Builders also got it. Um, and I want to say to this day, I'm the only person who has ever gotten the weekly question helper <laughs> title ever, because the, I was the only one ever in questions. I never allowed anyone else to get it, <laughs> because I was the only one inside. <laughs> As opposed to like team builders, where team builders was like an entire team, and I remember um, that's also how I met Penta. F fun fact, because I in the sub I used to have a, uh, I think it was Supreme Kai of Time, and then sometimes it went to um, uh, launch. But I used to have a lot of female avatars for it, and Penta was the first person to ever ask me if I was a girl. <laughs> that, that was the that was the working theory for a long time. Was uh, is Wookie a boy or a girl? <laughs> yeah, it ended up being a thing where I didn't, um, and it would eventually come full circle when I went into the modcast and I actually spoke, and then people were like, oh no, <laughs> Wookie is not a girl. No, no Wookie's not a girl. I had a theoretical crush on his posts for so long. I think you should just, uh, I think you should love me regardless of my gender. <laughs> Love can bloom anywhere. <laughs> um... So yeah, I used to ask. Uh, I used to answer a whole bunch of questions, and then there was a whole bunch of PvP. I would also sometimes go into PvP, but I would. I'm gonna say this right now: the people who used to ask for PvP help were a lot more ungrateful than the people who asked for questions, though. <laughs> because you That's can give fair. a person a team, but you can't tell them how to fucking beat the event. Because if they're not good enough at the game, then they still won't be able to beat the damn game. So it's like, oh, I can't beat Broly with this team. I'm like, motherfucker, I literally just did it with this team. Why are you having such problems with this game? It's not that hard. Yeah, that, that tends to happen. Yeah. Um, and eventually, uh, I think I just kept hanging around in questions. And then I'm finally, I think I saw, I don't remember who told me. I think it was Violet. Violet was saying, hey, Fishman's going to put up a um, post for mods. Um, we really like what you do here. I think you should ask, you should see if you can go in for a position. Um, you know, put put your name up there and we'll see what happens. And I was like, okay, I think I can do that. And I want to say I was in the batch with, it was me, Penta, and Sahal who all came together, if I'm remembering correctly, because Sahal for many years was right below me uh, until eventually I um, had to leave because all the, the things happened, so I really couldn't dedicate myself to the sub anymore like I used to uh, be able to. Um, but yeah, either way, I was put in there and I was put into the line chat because we used to have line chat <laughs> before it was a Discord. Yeah, <laughs> Good old adventures in line. And that's when I finally got to meet you for the first time. And I wanted to say, out of, for some reason, again, this is all in the back of my head, just because I had seen you talk to people aggressively about Eunice before I'm like, oh god. Zenroth's the hard ass. He's gonna be the hardest person in the world. And I want to say, like the the first time you showed up, you showed up and complained about something. <laughs> so it was like, uh, it was all already in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to be. And for some reason in my mind, I was also like, oh man, Zenroth is no nonsense. I'm gonna have to be at my top game <laughs> in order to not, uh, in order to the get on your bad side all time. Yeah, well, you were 100% on it at all times. Um, and then funny enough, that same night, I think um, there was a discussion in the chat about Yu-Gi-Oh! And then <laughs> you out of nowhere were like, Yo, who wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with me on this site? <laughs> like, this site that you had just found? Because <laughs> you're like, I want to play you some, some dual simulator website. Yeah, this was all before Duel Links even came out. So this was the, I guess, the best way to play it without paying money. Um, so I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm not doing anything, and it's been a while since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! together. And I think for the next three hours, we basically just did that. We, like, built our old decks, and then eventually you were like, um, I don't know if you did the same thing I did, but you are like, let's try using modern cards. I'm like, okay, give me a sec to figure out how to build my deck. And then I typed in really fun Yu-Gi-Oh decks that are <laughs> super good. <laughs> so like, well, I want to win. And then for the next period, it was like me and you trying to figure out what the hell, um, I think it was the X and Y style of summoning system even did. I'm like, I, I think, think I... it was the next one afterward. I think we, we spent a really long time trying to figure out how to use pendulum something, didn't we? Yes, it was pendulum summoning. 
And at one point I played a card, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this card lets me check my deck for this card and play it. And then I would wait a while for the chat and you're like, that sounds right. <laughs> and then I would do it. Good to me. Let's do it. You're like, I'll allow it. That sounds fair. Um, and that was basically how I remember. And I think from that point on, I was like, all right, Zen is apparently whatever thing I thought about Zen was wrong. <laughs> you ended up being an extremely nice guy who was sometimes aggressive because you were dealing with very stupid people on the sub. Yeah, after a while, like, there's a diplomatic phase, and then there's a just shut up, up for two seconds, you fucking people phase yep. of, of any sort of management position, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it was definitely a um, hard time. It was Laughing Man. That was the other person that came with us. The hall was after. He came uh. in the next batch. It was Penta... Me and Laughing Man were the people there, and out of those three people, I survived the most because eventually Penta left and <laughs> Laughing Man had his meltdown, I think. Yeah, when he became public enemy number one for a while there. Yeah, where uh, um, Laughing Man, of course, I think we've been on stream with him. Laughing Man ends up being a perfectly fine guy. He just didn't like the way the sub was run and stuff. And he had a very good way, I think, of just like um, blashing out in whichever way he found he thought was funniest, not thinking about the destruction that laid in wake. So like when he did that yeah. fucking world tournament thing and completely fucked us over because it was like when Laughing Mad did this, he was a former mod, the mods are behind this. And I was like, no, he's not a mod anymore. He doesn't, this is, this is guilt by association. He just did it because he wanted to do uh, it. He did the thing, the, what was it? With the, um, the event stones. Where it was like, once there's enough event stones claimed, we'll stop, you know, but we'll stop giving them out. So he made that fake counter. Yes. That was like the number of stones that I've stolen with my rerolls so far or whatever. And people were literally like losing their fucking minds. Like yeah. screaming at how, uh, and of course it was all fake. Yeah. But like people were losing it. Like, oh my God, it was so bad. That was bad in the whole world, t world tourney thing, which I think... Um, Laughing Man is the reason for the ban wave that eventually hit, because... Oh, when they did the, uh, where they modded the World Tournament to see what happened? Yeah, and he put down, like, the top three answers were like, fuck Akatsuki, fuck uh, Dokkan. Oh. <laughs> and then literally, yeah. like, right afterwards, we had the large ban wave that took down all of, um, the old Renzi accounts that were using, um... I forget what it was. Was it... What, what, do you remember what that thing was called that eventually... Uh, uh, Duping. Yes, duping. That eventually got, um, duping was killed, and which is unfortunate because it killed a oh, lot of folks. Uh, fault, though. No, it wasn't. It wasn't really. That the was, um, I don't remember the person's name. There was some person that was selling it, like, pay me enough money and I'll do all your stuff. And, final, uh, was it Final it Flash? Got... Final Flash Vegeta? No, no. That guy, no, that was just one of those dumb dudes that was way too public about it, but it was like, a, it was someone with a Discord server. Oh, and, okay, uh, yes. they kept selling it all on their Discord server. It got so big that so many people knew about it that, like, it was just a commonplace thing. And that, that's how stuff gets destroyed. Yes. Yes, that was how things got destroyed. Yeah, I remember that. Now, here's the thing that was fucked up for the sub. Because I ended up holding my tongue specifically because I was like, I'm not going to get into it with people. But when people, when people said, like, all the mods knew, I just wanted to point out to them and go, like, all right, listen, motherfucker. Nobody told me because if I knew, I would have used it. <laughs> so no one yeah, told me. Exactly. I, I had it very late into it. Like, I, only, I had it for a couple months before it got nuked. Yeah. And there was also that thing Renzi used to have that I can't remember the name of, but eventually people figured out about that, and I was also told about that super late. That was another thing that was eventually oh, yeah, ruined. Yeah, the autoplay type thing. Yeah, that was awesome. That was, I think that's the the, the first uh, best auto. The second autoplay is uh, <laughs> Dragalia for its two x speed. Number one was that thing <laughs> Renzi made because it was just yeah, so was amazing. Crazy. Like to yeah, it was so. It was also. Funny enough, really fun to use too. It was more fun than you would expect sometimes with Dokkan. Um, but yeah, that's kind yeah, of. It was quite enjoyable. Yeah, it made it made uh, especially because it was like during the roughest part of the game. I think one of the roughest parts of the game. But yeah, that's basically. Dokkan, most of the time is not enjoyable in my opinion. No. So it was funny that that was what made it fun. It was a fucking point and click. Yeah, well, it, it got a lot of the bullshit out of the way. 
for sure. <laughs> Especially when that was when they introduced the the LR with like seven 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 medals, and it was like, oh, this is so much bullshit. Cause oh yeah, yeah. Then you could just stick through it. It was oh, it was so much better. It was so much better. It was so good. I wish Dokkan again. Dokkan needs auto tickets because sometimes you just don't want to play something. Like they need to realize that if you've beaten yeah. it out of time, it should really be does it. need auto. Yeah, auto or skip tickets. Whichever one is fine with me. I feel like if they did skip tickets, that's them acknowledging that like a vast majority of their events can be <laughs> skipped. Yeah, I do like skip tickets though. Yeah, I do. I really do. Um, so yeah, that's basically the uh, original meeting of me and Zen. There you go. That's how. And then eventually the modcast was started with us and Penta, and the rest is basically history. That and also the forming of modcast was fun because I was the first person to say. I'm ready to go. And then I think two weeks later you said, so dude, does nobody want to do this thing with me? <laughs> I remember I remember that I asked and I was like, and like I didn't get an answer immediately or something like that. Or like you did, but I just didn't see it. Yeah. And so it, we went like a long time and no one did anything. And then finally I was like, okay, so like nobody? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. no, <laughs> you still want someone to do it with you. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Well, and then Penta also joined us, and then that's... I want to say it was just that people were super scared to hear their voice out there, especially because we didn't know how the sub would react. Um, and to be fair, the sub in the beginning was super nice towards it, I think, when... It was. It always depended, I think, like, over time it eventually became, like, um, I guess some people were thinking that we were promoting ourselves, which is also the reason why eventually I just stopped posting into the sub when it became just me, because I was like... If I if this is the way they see it, then they know that the YouTube is here and they can check it out here. But otherwise, like, don't worry about it. And I also kept it specifically there. It's a whole another can of worms that we can save for another day, I guess, on the history of the modcast yeah. when yeah when we get there. Uh, but thank you, Zen, Zen, for coming in here. I think you said you only had 13 minutes and we somehow made it to 17. So thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a seven minute overflow. Yeah, that's fair. And for everyone who enjoyed this, I hope you liked it. And get, I was going to say get ready for more stories, but I have absolutely no idea when we would get together again. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. At some point, it'll happen. Yeah. If you like to leave a like, that lets me know that, hey, you like it. And that's good enough for me. So we'll be uh, saying goodbye. Say goodbye, Zen. Hey, everybody.